Assalamualaikum and a very good day to my lecturer, Mandin Jufiza binti Wahab. My name is Mariam Nabila binti Amafuad, a part 5 science computer student of UITM Tapa. Currently, I'm undergoing my industrial training at company named Probably. Before I start, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart to Mandin Jufiza for taking time to watch my video presentation. In this video, I will be present about my industry training. Introduction and Objective Industrial training is a program that offers good practical training. It is a place that allows students to experience the real work environment. Students are required to undergo a period of training with an organization. And during training period, students will be exposed to the latest technology and the ways they present, such as what is the most favorite programming language is used today to create a smoother apps, or the latest style or trend of editing that will attract more customers, or etc. Besides, not only students can gain new professional skills during training period, but also students can improve their soft skills. Industry training is a compulsory subject for all science computer students that study at University Technology Mara UITM. The objective of industry training is to fulfill the graduation requirement of University Technology Mara, UITM, which has the ability to improve students' creativity, skills, and sharing ideas, to increase students' sense of responsibility and good work habits, to build good communication skills within teammates and co-workers, and learn proper behavior of corporate life in industrial sector. Company Background Probably Holding Berhad is a software management company that helps to digitize strata management in Malaysia. In 2006, Probably was funded in as Hornbox Technology Sendia Berhad with 5 million private investment. And on 2020, Probably was founded as holding company which is called Probably Holding Berhad and its subsidiary by Maxho and Ryan Lee. Probably building management softwares aim to improve automation, transparency, and cost cutting in the building management industry. And as you can see here, this is company probably logo. Mission and mission of company probably is to provide a stable careers for building experts so that they can give a homeowners and the community a peace of mind. Task assigned. Supervisor gave me the task of setting up building information in Probably Hub. Probably Hub, Probably Hub is a system that acts as database of all building and company's information. There is also some knowledge that I learned at university used in order to complete the task, as for example, a dot Photoshop. Given the task that involved with clients really helped me to build good communication skills within teammates and co-workers and learn to learn proper behavior of corporate life in industrial sector. Probably has 10 active projects and each of these projects has a different purpose and goals. Besides setting up the building information, supervisor also assigned me to handle the attendance per hour and the probably task apps project. I also have been assigned to design a poster every public holiday such as New Year, Chinese New Year, Christmas, and etc. And as you can see here, these are the active project lists of company probably, which is my strata, probably, pay hour, vote, connect, strata university, consortium of building management company, Kaka apps, jmb.org, lastly, community support group. As I mentioned before, I've been assigned to handle Probably Task Apps and Pay Our Attendance. Probably Task Apps project goals is to promote collaboration between management office staff, manage complaint, keep track of documents, asset, schedule preventive maintenance tasks, and other office information, allowing the following users or management office to access task report daily. The following users is Technician, admin, JMB or MC, management company HQ. Payout project goals is to manage the attendance for management office staff, security, cleaner, and other service provider, allowing the following users to access to live attendance report. 
such as JMB or MC, Management Company HQ, Security Company HQ, Cleaning Company HQ, and other service company HQ. Building setup. If the company that manages the building wants to use the probe system, they need to provide information about the building that the company wish the building to use probe system. The information needed is building information, area includes level if the building is an apartment or condominium, assure the task, which is a routine task, and lastly, management office staff details. My task in this procedure is to follow up with them and make sure all the information provided are correct. After checking all the information, I will fill in all the building setup information and show the task in Probe Hub. Probe Task and Attendance Per Hour Probe Task is an app that helps management office to record tasks, while Attendance Per Hour is a system that records everyday attendance. But before the client can use Probe Task and Attendance Per Hour, they have to give building setup information first, as I mentioned before. And then, I will WhatsApp them to give their email and password of Probe Task and Attendance Pay Hour and teach them of how to use Probe Task and Pay Hour until they fully understand. As I mentioned before, I also have been assigned to do some posters using Photoshop. And as you can see here, these are the posters that I've been edit using Photoshop. They are Chinese New Year and the black one is New Year poster. And this is also the New Year poster, while this one is a Chinese New Year poster. My comments about Perbly. Throughout my practical time at Perbly, I learn and observe everything that happens around me. In my opinion, Company probably is a very relevant to my career goals and probably have a very friendly employee environment. Students can be exposed to working field. Company probably itself has a very grateful supervisor. In a nutshell, my industry training at probably holding Berhad within 6 months or 24 weeks are totally worth it as I gain extensive knowledge of software development and multimedia work scope with this training program. This training program starts on 13 September 2021 and ends on 25 February 2022. Students can learn and explore new knowledge while also developing technical and soft skills. Furthermore, students can gain real-world experience by having the tasks assigned to them distributed in team or by individual depending on situation. That's all for this video. Thank you!